so that when we use this on you, and I use this to remove the bearings on your shoulder, your life will change. Amen. The yoke will be broken. Amen. I've never taken a turban and do this on anyone. I've never done it. I've never taken a mantle and do this on anyone. But today I want to do it for you because of what I saw. And from now, anyone that will put evil light on you, eh, have dug a grave for himself. I pull you out of bondage, out of stagnation, out of barrenness, out of shame, out of reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ, those that are pregnant, you deliver like an Hebrew woman. No more season, no more operation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the word of God penetrate in us and change us and transform us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Good morning, viewers all over the world. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I just want to share an experience, a beautiful, wonderful experience we had as the women of Divine Connections at the Arise and Shine uh, prayer uh, at the mountain. We were so blessed. Hallelujah. Uh, what a glorious experience that we all had. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, there's no other way. There's no better a way to celebrate Women's Day at the Prayer Mountain. Hallelujah. You all know that so much happens at the Prayer Mountain. You know, uh, people are, are transfigured. You know, the, I'm reminded of the story of the transfiguration at the mountain. We, as the women of Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries, as the women of Divine Connections, we were transfigured. We were elevated. We were promoted to another level. Amen. Life is not ordinary, but you guys take it, everyone take it like nothing. Life is so deep, more than you. If life is not so deep, you would have remembered what will happen tomorrow. How many of you remember what will happen tomorrow? How many of you know what will happen tomorrow? That's why life is deeper than you. And for that reason, you ought to do good. Praise the Lord. And I want to emphasize, you come to church, you want to make friends. But friends you want to make in the church is to read, to, read, to murmur, to complain, to castigate. Not God never permitted. He said, come, let's have sweet counsel together. Let's dialogue about this God. How do we succeed? It is time for you to dialogue. It is time for you to offload all those things. I know many people have been hurt. Many people have been hurt, either by your husband, by your wife, by your mother, by your father, by your boss, or even by your pastor, or by the environment, or by the land. Praise the Lord. Or by the land. So one way or another, you must be hurt. You must have been hurt. You have to let go. You have to what? You have to let go because if you don't let go, where would the blessing stay? God said, I do not stay in a fertile, in a fertile house. He said, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You must make it holy. He said, be holy because I am holy. Be clean because I am clean. If you take this and you put a charcoal, would it be white? Do not be white. As soon as you done this, do not more, no more be white. Have you seen, how many of you have dreamed and see an angel? You have dreamed to see an angel. What cloth does he wear? Why white? Why, why, why white? White signifies what? Purity. If you are opportune to go to Muslim land, every Muslim you see wear what? White. Why are they wearing white? because they saw an angel somewhere. The moment you began to say, I can't. I for you. It means you are in unity with him. You become whatever you want. But the moment you put that high fi and tea, you are finished. Or 
put another end there, put another old there, and put another seed there, they're gone. Everything you do is finished. I can't is a positive word. I can't is a negative word. I cannot is a negative word. The moment you begin to use the word, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, and you will never do it. You will never become. Even if you become, it's temporary. So after cleaning your heart today, I want you to pray that prayer. Yes, I can be great in life. I can live and not die. I can get the best job. I can get the best husband. I can, have, I can get the best family. I can build the best house. I can be this. I can be that. I can. I can. I can. I can. So the word I can't is of the devil. The word I can is of God. So the moment you say, you begin to use that word, I can't. That's the end of it. And that's why some people can say, over my dead body, I will never reconcile that one. That one is a wish. Who tells you? The moment you call somebody a winch, be careful for yourself. Check yourself. You must find yourself flying and you bring yourself down. Praise the Lord. So from today, I wanted to change. I wanted to change. When I, saw, when I was supposed to be here, all of you could have come and find me packed here, relaxed, praying. But the Father said, look at what, your, look what my children carry. And beside that, when I saw that evil Lord, I remember now, I saw someone carry something like a calabash, like a, 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 something on the tray, try to put on the head of the people. I said, what, do, what nonsense is this? Now I have to start praying again. When I see something, I began to pray. I see another one. So I remember very clear now, when I saw that one, it was, an, it was something, it was a basket, but black. And he was currently trying to put it on the head of the people. Praise the Lord. Can I hear you do like this? Everybody. Do it again. Thank you. Say, I remove every evil Lord. Every evil luggage. Place on my head. Including the one I place on my head. I remove it. I dodge my head. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So please unite as Christians. Praise the Lord. Unite as what? As Christians. Christians are those who know their father. And those who know their father shall be strong. They shall be great. They shall do exploit. It's not that challenges will not come. Challenges will come. But the overcoming spirit which is your father that dwelleth in you will empower you to overcome. We empower you to overcome and to triumph over them all. To triumph over them all. Praise the Lord. So I have come. I wanted to go down on your knees and pray. I said, Lord, I know I am not worthy because of the life I've lived before. Today, I have come to your mercy, Lord. I have come to the mountain. I have come before you. I have come before you. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. When we use this on you, and I use this to remove the burdens on your shoulder, your life will change. Your yoke will be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go on your knees. Begin to ask for mercy. Confess your sin. Forgive. Forgive. You cannot see God in an affecting heart. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart. Pure in heart. Confess your sin right now. I have sinned. I have done this evil. I've envied my sister. I've envied my brothers. Speak in your mother's language. Speak in your mother's language. Start on your feet.
Thank you, Father. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. And I hear everyone say Amen and Amen. Thank you, Lord. That in. Drop that in. Take that in out. Go, 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 go. Whoever Jesus Christ made clean stands clean forever in the name of Jesus Christ. And as sun rises and sun goes down, whatever you have done against this woman is over. From now, I put her back the son, the daughter of Abraham in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Now go. The bearing of her shoulder, whatever evil load you have given to her, 
is over in the name of Jesus Christ. And the yoke broke because of the anointing. Thank you, Father. Every evil load, every evil luggage, every evil luggage, every evil luggage. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now remove all your things and leave. Leave! You're supposed to Take all your things. Take them away. Take them away! Everything. Everything. Whatever. Whatever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take out everything. 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 From now, she will walk to her promised land. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Go! Take away things! And leave her alone. She does not belong to you. She belongs to Jesus Christ. All your things. Take out! Quick! Quick! Very fast! Fast! Thank you, Father. And go, surrender, and go. Go! Go! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ, my children. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Pastor, get the perfume and minister on, on her hands. Minister on her hands. Minister on her feet. Her hands, her feet. Her feet. Her face. Can never be anywhere. She belongs to Christ. She belongs to Jesus Christ. Listen, she belongs to Jesus Christ. Turn her, turn her to the sun. Turn her to the sun. Thank you, Father. It's over. It's over. She will shine. It's over. Now go up. The broken floor. She does not belong to your kingdom. Everything you have done is over. Now go up. You're back on the floor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. She will not see you again and you will not see her. From now, I make her invisible before you. I make her invisible before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Now go! Everybody say thank you, Lord. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Same power over her is broken. Same power over her is broken. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ, we thank you. Die! You know, she keep endure, 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 and she put everything inside her. Very wicked spirit. Thank you, Lord. Now. Today you are broken. Today, Lord Jesus Christ separate you from Lord Jesus Christ separate you from her. You know we are talking to Jesus Christ separate you from her. It's over. It's over. I detach you from this family. I detach you from the daughter of Abraham. Today I detach you. Here it is. Here it is. I detach you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come here. It's over. The nails on the floor. One. At the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every new bow. So you bow and you get out of this family. One, two, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take her out, take her out, take her out. Take her out. Quick, 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 quick. Now go. I never come back to her. 
free. The steps us. You know what? What does she want? Yeah. What does she want? What does you she, know want? What she want? Isaac. She want that Isaac. one. She want that one. Isaac. She want that one. This one don't work. This one. This one. You want touch her. Listen. She want work. Listen. Yeah. Listen. She want. You have no choice. She want. You know why? When I destroy her, you fight her. You, you fight her. You fight when her. she stays. You know the improvement. You see the improvement there. She won't work if it's in her home. And she stays here and she's bringing me I home. perfume her life she's myself. Now she will work. She's I for perfume you. her life. She's I perfume her life. She will smell good and she will work. She I will touch you. I will never enter her. Whichever way you enter her, I remove you. I remove you. I detach you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I detach you from him. Now and forevermore. And I hear everyone say, Amen. Amen. Say she will walk. Say she's promoted. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Now celebrate our promotion. Celebrate our money. Celebrate. Finish. Finish. Let them get angry. Let them get angry. Now go. Go. In Jesus. Liver, now go. Go! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See what you have really received. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll give you a cross. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have to go back and pray and ask the Father. I don't know. Maybe they get something. I don't know. But you are very lucky. You're yeah, lucky generation. So come back for a great testimony. Amen and amen. Good morning. You are blessed. Go home. Good morning. My name is Alus Makokotela Sengwe. Um, I would like to bless God for this day, the day of our rise and shine for the women of Divine Connections. It has been a breathtaking experience for me because I got to experience God early in the morning. I thank God for the life of my prophet, Prophet Isaka, because he's a game changer. When he arrived in our Mideast, he taught us to cleanse ourselves from every filth, from every debt, from every burden that we have been carrying as women. Unforgiveness, the spirit of uh, anger, bitterness, and also to be forgiving women. I thank God for this day because I have arisen and I have shined for Every field has been taken away from my life. Every field has been taken away from my household. As it is Women's Day, I would like to urge all women to be in the presence of God, to thank God for their lives, because it is a unique experience to get to experience the move of God in our marriages, in our children's lives, to see your God, the move of God in the morning. I have uh, received my blessings. I have received the blessings of my household. I have received my career blessings, my business blessings. I have received new ideas for the future. I really want to thank God for the presence of the prophet today because I am delivered and I am free in Jesus' mighty name. I would also want to extend this, uh, the uh, end of uh, invitation to all women. Good morning. My name is Ruth Mbezi. Uh, we are here to the prayer mountain. Wow, what a service. Oh. <laughs> it was indeed a powerful one. And we are all blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. And we have received what we have come here for. And we thank God for the grace to be here because it's not by might nor by power, but by the grace of God. So, yes, uh, we have another meeting on the 31st of August. We invite you, all women, 
come and experience what we have experienced today. We are blessed and we thank God for the grace. Amen. And Macheroni. Dikota mo batanga neza fa no ka kere kino fisha ka ina glorious faith ministries o ima wo panda o ndi renda ndagada rikota ma u ramba vataleri vote na vathu vote vane vha khotalela hi video riri kha vha de vha de vha experience manda a mudzimo ane mudzimo wa kushumisa prophet Isaka nga kha vha fuma kadzi na msoro vha na experience ya vhudinga manda ro pa tuchedzea ro dolisiwa and zwinwe na zwinwe zwo vuleya muchironi ya vhurine vha fuma kadzi vho tanga neza madembe vha fuma kadzi tanganedza mishumo vafuma kadzi vo tanganedza dzimbingano rikota mauri bwa mudzimo nga zwine mudzimo vha khoita zone riri vathu vote riko vha ramba riri vo tanganedza shakaina a Emmanuel Shalom good morning my name is Tando Matuma today we are at the prayer mountain a lot happened we received a lot today breakthrough salvation of our souls testimonies everything happened because we are who had our prophet today he came all the way from america and he hasn't been around us for a very long time so we had a very blessed women's day today so i'd like to encourage all the other women to always come in this kind of meetings you must always attend so that you receive your breakthroughs you receive your testimonies you receive everything that you're looking for for the from 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 above thank you so much Good morning viewers all over the world. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I just want to share an experience, a beautiful, wonderful experience we had as the women of divine connections at the Arise and Shine uh, prayer uh, at the mountain. We were so blessed. Hallelujah. Uh, what a glorious experience that we all had. Hallelujah. Uh, you know there's no other way. There's no better a way to celebrate Women's Day at the Prayer Mountain. Hallelujah. You all know that so much happens at the Prayer Mountain. You know, uh, people are, are transfigured. You know, the, I'm reminded of the story of the transfiguration at the mountain. We, as the women of Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries, as the women of Divine Connections, we were transfigured. We were elevated. We were promoted to another level. Amen. And I just want to invite you uh, wherever you may be whatever situation you are going through come and join us don't get left behind come and partake be a partaker of the blessings that God has bestowed uh, for you amen and today we had our father in the Lord join our prayer session and he did something marvelous to the women he prayed for the women he lifted burdens off their shoulders he gave us a new garment, a garment of righteousness, a garment of favor. He removed that filthy garment. Amen. That filthy garment, you know, that uh, women have been wearing, that garment of reproach, garment of disfavor, you know, that garment of rejection, that garment of poverty. It was taken off today and our Father in the Lord presented a new garment, a new garment to each and every woman. Amen. Mama, take this. Anytime women come together, you use it. You, you come back and give testimony. Keep it well. When you go, you hang it in the altar, it must be there. Anytime women come for meeting, bring it out. Hallelujah. So it's dedicated to the women. He said that every time that we gather as the women of Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries, as the women of divine connections, we must use this mental, mental of power, mental of faith. So I want to encourage you, you know, it doesn't matter what garment you have been wearing that the enemy had placed upon you. Come and pray with us and God will give you a new garment, a garment of righteousness, you know, a garment of joy, a garment of peace peace, a garment of honor, just as Esther wore a garment of honor and he found favor with the king. Come and also be a partaker of this garment of honor and you'll find favor with kings and queens in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have our Deborah Arise prayer meetings every second Saturday of every month and uh, this month of August being the women's month, we're having a conference, a very special 
special conference for every woman, for every woman who desires to arise, to arise above her challenge, arise above her circumstances, arise above anything that has actually kept her in a place of bondage. Hallelujah. You know, we see women in the Bible meeting with our Lord Jesus Christ and their lives never remain the same. Anyone who has an encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ has got to arise to another level. With us today, we were taken to the mountaintop. We arose as women to the mountaintop of glory. So I invite you, our next meeting, our Father and the Lord has said that we must come back to the prayer mountain again. So come join us and you will be elevated. You will arise to the mountaintop of glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.